let's learn a little bit more about the different types of functions available. We already saw a few ways of entering functions and in the formulas ribbon, you can, we have already seen the insert function will open up this dialog box where you can type in something to search for and then you can choose a specific function. And also you can see here that there are more available in the function library. So here, AutoSum is nothing but this provides you a few functions where Excel will automatically try to put in the arguments based on where you are applying this formula. So for example, if I'm here and if I want to do a sum, Excel will automatically assign these cells as argument and so it'll calculate the sum. So it's a very convenient, fast way of doing it if that's what your cells and arguments are, but it may not be the ones that you need all the time. Excel also gives you a list of recently used functions. So if you have recently used them in Excel, they will show up here. Again, just a quick shortcut so that you can enter functions more quickly. The functions are actually organized here and you can see that the financial, logical, text functions, date and time, lookup and reference functions, math and trigonometry. So when you click on any of these, you will see a list of functions under that category. And here you can see the function sum, which is under the math and trig. And if I click on this, Excel will actually enter the sum function in the cell. And again, we quickly go to the arguments dialog box. Instead of searching for a function, now we have already found the function so we directly go to the arguments and then if these are the arguments then you say okay now you have your function entered in this formula so this is a way where you can kind of browse the different functions and if you want to use it then click on it it'll be applied to the cell and then you can go through and select the arguments for that function there are also more advanced functions here so excel has hundreds of functions available to you and they're all categorized here. And if you want to try out a new function, feel free to go and search for them or browse around here and choose any one. And immediately you can click on it to apply it to any cell. We, we would be discussing some of the most commonly used functions in Excel, and we will be going through them in more detail with examples.